And now, your Norcast weather update. Brought to you by Grosso and Associates team at Remax New Beginnings Realty. Downsizing to one of Ocean County's 55 plus communities. Chat with Remax agent on OceanCountyLiving.com or call Ken Grosso at 732-716-3045. And good Monday morning. I'm meteorologist Bobby Clark with an update on your forecast. Nor'easter Nick has the day off. Hopefully you take some time today to think about our fallen heroes for the true meaning of what Memorial Day is about, why we celebrate it today. More humid and hot temperatures as we head through the rest of this afternoon. 90s are going to be inland, feeling like 100. The good news is if you're along the shoreline, a good 15 to 20 degrees cooler than what they'll be dealing with in, in the inland sections. Humidity is going to stay. We'll have temperatures in the 80s and 90s through at least Thursday, but it'll feel worse, unfortunately, as the humidity is here to stay until we get a cold front, looks like, by the end of the week. And what that will do for us, some relief for the weekend. Temperatures at or even below normal as we head into next weekend. We'll chat about that in just a moment. As we look around the area itself, temperatures across the area are starting to warm up pretty nicely across this hour. 70 in Glassboro, 74 in Mays Landing, 71 in Fortescue, 75 in Courthouse. A pair of sixes right now in Atlantic City and 74 as you head towards Tom's River. So. At this point, temperatures are going to continue to rise out there, southerly flow. Of course, if you're along the shoreline in the Delaware Bay, you're probably going to stay at bay, no pun intended. But as you head in, inland, you'll obviously deal with the heat and the humidity throughout most of this afternoon. So be careful if you have any kind of outdoor plans and or any kind of early afternoon memorials in your hometown. Exclusive Norcast hour by hour forecast. As we see here, temperatures are going to be pu pu pushing up in the inland sections up into the upper 80s, even pushing 90 with that west to southwest, turning more south as we head towards the evening hours, and I think as we head into the overnight hours tonight, therefore we could see ourselves with some areas of patchy fog across the region itself. Speaking of tonight, temperatures dipping back into the upper 60s to the low 70s with those areas of patchy fog as you head towards the uh, daybreak hours and for reason for that, especially along the Delaware Bay and along the ocean, because obviously we're seeing that south to southwesterly flow coming right off the water. So a better chance of seeing fog the closer you go to along the shoreline. As for tomorrow, the hottest day of the week, definitely. 95 degrees inland. With that humidity, it's going to feel like near 100 to 105 under mostly sunny skies. About 10 degrees cooler as you head towards the shoreline in the mid to, uh, excuse me, lower to mid 80s along uh, the waterfront. As for the satellite radar composite, nothing going on today in terms of any kind of precipitation. That's pretty much going to be the story, I think, for the next 48 hours at least before we get into maybe Wednesday, could possibly see maybe a shower or two as a weak trough will try to move on in here. But look at this, basically nothing going on. Tomorrow morning, obviously, we could deal possibly with some fog, but other than that, maybe a few clouds scattered about throughout the day into the evening. So that'll allow for sunshine to reign supreme along with that humidity, bring our temperatures feel that much more disgusting out there. In terms of the temperature outlook, I did kind of preview in the uh, beginning of this to say that we could basically be at or even below normal. And we we're seeing that with the temperature from departure here, six to 10 days. So we're looking at basically next weekend and then beyond. Looks like we're actually gonna be below normal for this time of year. Temperatures in the low to mid 70s. I think we'll take that for the first week of June considering how hot it can get these next few months. We'll take a few breaks here and there. Seven day forecast, we'll take a look right now. Again, tomorrow's the hottest day. Wednesday, see yourselves 87 degrees with that trough moving through here. Weak trough, maybe a shower. That's about it. Clouds increase Thursday. A cold front's going to push in here as we head into Friday. Chance of seeing some showers and storms. And look at this weekend with your exclusive uh, Norcast plus three days. 70s for the weekend? Wow. Basically at or even below normal. And head into the week starting June 5th. Look at that. Low 70s for highs? Wow. Just some nice relief for us finally as we go through the next three or four days of dealing with this hot and humid conditions. Have a great rest of the day, everybody. I'll see you later.